Is behind the line. Let's kick this. Drivers, we have thumbs up. Drivers behind the line. Let's kick this thing off in three, two, one, go. Welcome to our hotly anticipated last match between the before the even more anticipated lunch break. Five seconds left in auto. 461 will go up and score. Their counterparts on the Blue Alliance do the same. That's Cybertooth. That creates a score of 42-40. Unfortunately, it does look like Westside Boiler Invasion. They pause for a second, but they do manage to slide off their charge station in order to contribute to their reliance. 50-10, Tiger Dynasty spinning through the opposition, getting to their loading zone, sliding on across. Takes them no time at all to cycle these cones. Super duper, Westside Boiler Invasion. They won an event together a couple of weeks ago. Now they're on opposing alliances. They just ran into each other, had some contention for a moment. Thankfully, they're clear. The Red Community has three robots inside, all scoring for the Red Alliance. They are down by a smidgen, 85 to 90 with 80 seconds yet to play. These teams are a hair apart and there's still a mile to go. What is going to make the difference is definitely grid play. We have two alliances of robots that have proven they can climb. Fifty-five seconds to play. Super duper sliding across the field with that swerve drive of theirs. Their robot's very aesthetically pleasing. It's a pleasure pleasure to look at as they grab another cube. Get across the field. Oh, that is a run in once again with them and Westside Boiler. Both robots that are that pick up speed very quick and are liable to run into robots moving across. We're now in the end game of this final match. Area 5188 classified as long as their alliance partners, Red Alert, are going to try getting up. 461, if this Red Alliance is going to have a chance, they need a triple climb. They look like they are primed to achieve it. And they get it. Over on the Blue Alliance, Super Duper and Cybertooth will get up in the air. Will it be enough? Tiger Dynasty won't do a whole lot towards the end. 142 to 120 before we get our end game tally. Let's see how our scorekeepers decide this one. What an exciting match. Let's take a look at our scores. And it's the Blue Alliance. Winning 164 to 150, the grid made all of the difference in this tight match. The end game could not quite make up for that deficit. Awesome. Thank you, Eva, for a wonderful breakdown of that last match. Teams, if you don't know, it's time to lunch. That means until 2 o'clock, fill your bellies with some tasty food. We'll see you all back here at 2 o'clock for some 